9 a.m. on a Sunday morning is never a kind hour for a Spaniard, ever, and the village was no exception. The usual Saturday night Sunday morning drunks were still going strong, and their square has been taken over by these well-meaning, highly organized hippies. What's a drunk to do? They tried to join in, but their contribution is gently turned away. We came late to the party, not getting down to meet the encampment and its inhabitants until this past weekend, June 5th. Visiting Milan at the time of the initial protest, I was not able to grasp the intent and passion of this place, but I think I was lucky to visit weeks later when the crowds had gone back home and the die-hard full-timers were going about the business of change, one transparent decision at a time. The place chosen for this 21st century squat could not be more central to the power, might, and tourist spectacle of Spain, Puerta del Sol. Surrounding the not-so-square square is the seat of Madrid's government. In this building sits Esperanza, the president of Madrid, the governor, if you like. It is noted here that she has yet to walk across the boulevard to meet and greet her latest guests, or even dialogue with them. She has also, on the other hand, shown some restraint by allowing them to remain peacefully in her forecourt. The infamous clock on her building wall is point zero for all that is measured in Spain, points north, south, east and west. This is not lost on our camp, who has representatives here from all four corners, and notably comrades and southern neighbors from the Arab Spring. Just an aside, they had the best furnished tents and by far the cleanest, with small stoves and sweet tea on the boil, served in beautiful decorated glasses. Their recent uprising gave this camp the title of Spanish Summer, but to me they have done more than this. Seeing their colorful placards, I realize that they have changed the way I look at their alphabet. For the past 10 years, it has given off a menacing connotation, but now reads as the new peace symbol. Just one spring awakening, and so much has changed. Nearby is the more famous Plaza Mayor, and to the north, the shopping arcades, the almost regal Corte Inglés. In the Puerta del Sol, missing its infamous Tio Pepe neon logo, the symbol of Madrid, the bear and the tree, has been decorated with a giant marigold and a small replica of it nearby made out of recycled plastic. The consumer billboards are now defaced with bright, funny protest art, outsider art. The camp has its own wallpaper. The picture is complete. The takeover, final. Recycle, reuse, everything here is geniusly recycled from something that has been discarded. In fact, I think one could be correct in saying that the only thing not recycled could be the fresh bread served in the missin hut and the milk for hot chocolate. Giant and small pieces of canvas, plastic, recycled tents, torn tarpaulin, garbage bags and cardboard cover most of the mini camps inside this village. And it is a village. The further you walk into the labyrinth of kindergarten creches, massage rooms, art spaces, libraries, performance space, medical units, canteens, and coordination hubs, the more you are mentally drawn in. After a very short amount of time, you begin to feel part of the tribe, if only as an observer. By observing in a respectful but consenting way, returning a kind smile or joining in a conversation, you become one with them and move towards supporting them and wishing them to stay here for you. Because you cannot do this. You have a job you have to go to, a home to care for, children to pay for. But you're glad they're doing it. You're glad that somebody is doing it because things have to change. And this village is change, but not an angry mob, a new peace module. Change from here. Build the nursery. Bring the family plant vegetables, sweep the street clean, and write the petitions daily. You have the time, and you've taken the space.
9 a.m. on a Sunday morning, the usual busy bees were up, working the phones, the internet, getting ready for the weekly very public and transparent General Assembly, which is held on the pavement outside the entrance to the metro. Each region is represented and votes cast with a very Hawaiian-looking shaking of hands in mid-air. The observers, lost somewhere between here and the Rastro, were drawn in one by one. Let's hope their journey changes them too. This village is full of change, of peaceful, generous, organic, vegetarian-eating children, fed on alternative education and art, and sickened by the bloated fashion of consumerism. They are here, and hopefully they're not going away anytime soon. You go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise.